Hello everyone, welcome back to Focal Lifestyle. Here we have plant expert Eric Shoya. Um, so please tell us how to take care of plants and especially just give us top 10 tips if you can. Okay, yeah. So there's 10 essential steps you have to take in order to get a healthy plant, right? First, first step. Can I take this? Yeah. First step. This yeah. <laughs> first step, you need to make sure they get lots of sunlight. Pretty basic stuff, right? And then I need to turn this on. Second step, make sure you water it periodically. Not too much and not too little. If you give it too much, it'll... Stop, stop. I control. <laughs> give it too much, you'll get root rot. Give it too little, it's gonna, it's gonna dry up, you know? And then step three, get the right soil. You know, you need mm -hmm. um, soil like an aerate, soil that has lots of nutrition so that it can thrive. Right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Step four, you need to make sure you get the best seeds. Get the best seeds. The stronger your the stronger the seed is, the stronger that your plant will be. So it's like natural selection. Only the strongest of the strongest survive. So you want to make sure you get hardy seeds, right? Okay, so I'm about to go get the seeds, the best seeds. So this is some sketchy business, so you gotta be careful. So Step five, you need to talk to them. We've all heard this, carbon dioxide is necessary for plant growth. And that's how talking to them will help them get the resources and nutrition they need. Right. Hi, so uh, I see here you say you feel trapped and you can't really leave from home. Can you elaborate on that a little? Ma'am? Ma'am? Step six, you need to make sure you keep an eye out for pests because pests can commonly, you know, like let's say white flies or maybe like, um, Aphids. Aphids, caterpillars, Meal mealy bugs, mealy bugs. They suck out the nutrition from the leaves, so you want to check periodically for them, because those can be detrimental to your plant health. Okay, so every once in a while, you just want to inspect your tree for any bugs. And if you see any, you can just use a spray bottle like this. Mix a solution with some pure Castile soap, no harmful chemicals or anything. And uh, let's just investigate to see if there's any right now. Hmm. Let's see. Check under the leaves, because that's where most of the bugs like to go. Wait, is there some... Oh, oh there's right there! <laughs> Step seven, you want to make sure you have ample space in your pot so that you're... Just make sure it's... <laughs> so that your plant has ample room to grow. So the more space you have in your pot, the more space that it can grow vertically outside mm -hmm. the soil. Okay, so as I mentioned before, you want to make sure that your roots have enough room to develop. So before this tree was in this container, but since it was growing so much, I had to grow it into this container. So just like, it's kind of like the way Henry needs to get some new shorts because he's growing out of them. Bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> Step eight, you want to make sure that you get a fertilizer, especially in the um, growing season. So it gets all the nutrition it needs and in case the soil loses some of its nutrients. Mm -hmm or if the resources are depleted, you want to make sure you have fertilizing. Um, so, as Eric mentioned, uh, the stuff about fertilizer, um, let me see the stuff. I think he just told me that you just sprinkle it, sprinkle it around the plant base, or around the pot base, like where the plant is situated. Wait, um, he never really mentioned um, where he got this stuff from, so I'm just asking really quick. Dude, dude, dude! <clears throat> Step nine, you want to make sure you treat them like family, you know, you want to keep... Oh 
will not this ape again. We're shooting right now. Who? You! <laughs> sorry, our interview has been interrupted. Um, so sorry. The audacity! Welcome back to what are you doing? Like, we don't need to just give me that. I'm gonna stop. Why? I'm gonna give you a. <laughs> Sorry about the intermission. Um, we're back. This is Foga Lifestyle, and here we have Eric Shoga, yeah, plant expert. Yeah, they know who I am. They already introduced me. I don't know why you need to introduce me again. Okay. Step nine You want to make sure that you treat your plants like family. You know, when you have a family member, you feed them, you make sure you give all your attention and love to them. And it goes the same with your plants, because without your care and love, they're going to die. Wow. Yeah. And step 10, the most important thing, just respect them. That's it. Well, That's all you need to take care of a healthy plant. Nice. I'm, I'm done. Are you done? Yeah. Alright, so this concludes... Oh, wait, so how, what are you doing after this? It should be out or something. No, no, no. Um, yeah, so, later, Eric's going to take me uh, to a, demonstrate, a live demonstration or something like that. No, we don't. We don't do a live demonstration. Let's just cut this shirt. <laughs> Hello, my name is Henry. Welcome back to Foga Lifestyle. It's been quite a while since we last talked to plant expert Eric Shogo. So we'll see what's going on right now. Hello. Oh, these are his plants. Wow, it's been like. How long? Like several months. Oh shoot. Eric, is that you? Oh shoot! Oh shoot!